Chelsea. Welcome back to your seventh installment of LCTV. I'm Olivia Figg. And I'm Claire Bender. On this week's episode, we will be taking a look at senior basketball players, diving into how a student uses TikTok to promote her fashion interests, and seeing the importance of best buddies in the activities that they participate in. Our first story is about the blocking of President Biden's vaccine mandate for health care workers. Louisiana judge has temporarily blocked the Biden administration's COVID vaccine mandate for health care workers in more states. This preliminary injunction essentially freezes the mandate for 10 states. Next, we're going to talk about Toys for Tots locations in northwest Indiana just in time for holiday season. Here in Northwest Indiana, there are many volunteer opportunities to help out people in need, especially during the holiday season. Toys for Tots in Gary and in Holbert are collecting toys for less fortunate children who need them. Last year, there were over 10,000 toys distributed, and this year, Hobart is trying to beat their goal. Last week, Meals on Wheels held a tree lighting ceremony to show compassion for the community. The beginning of December marks the start of the holiday season, and it's very important to give back to the community. Please remember, and try as best as you can, to warm other people's hearts as well as yours. For our first segment, we will be looking into how the cafeteria staff keeps up with food shortages. How do I handle the food distribution? We get what we get our orders. We have a menu that we follow if we are unable to get that product, which we are having difficulties with at times. And when it comes in, we decide from there how we're going to serve it and to how much we need. When trying to make sure there's food for everyone, we do try to work ahead a week or two. We are doing our best to follow the current menus that are posted, but right now during this time, um, with food shortages and issues at manufacturers, uh, we have been needing to change up the menus and get some different product in just to make sure we have enough food for everyone. Um, the challenges right now are there is food shortages at our main distributor. Uh, the reason for that is they have fewer employees making the product and there's a higher demand for the product because there is a national free lunch and breakfast program right now for all students in K-12. We are getting deliveries. Uh, there are days here and there that they might come in a little later than normal. Typically at the high school, the food may be here by 5.30 in the morning. Uh, there were a couple days, I think, that they showed up a little late because of shortages of drivers. And remember, students, the cafeteria staff are working their hardest to serve you your food. You can reduce long lines by bringing your ID and remember your manners. The staff is trying their best in this time of food shortage, so please don't make a fuss. It's not their fault. That really made me appreciate all the work that our lunch ladies do. Me too. Let's now take a look at one of Elsie's most popular clubs, Best Buddies, for this week's Club of the Week. Me too, Be a Best Buddy sponsor is, uh, first of all, I love working with students with special needs, and I took a particular interest when I was at Crown Point. I worked closely with all of particular students and develop close relationships. When I heard there was an opening here at Lake Central, I was really excited to join the team and be a part of Best Buddies. 
Uh, typically it means we just have our buddies made up with their peer buddies and we have different activities they can go around and do. Uh, anything that involves uh, just dance, where they have dance parties or we have crafts, sometimes board game parties. Anytime we, we have we have a chance, we'll go out into the community. We've done Ziggy's before, we've gone bowling before. We even do our fundraisers where we have uh, Mod Pizza, uh, Smoothie King, anything that gets our uh, buddies and peer buddies to get together and go out and hang out outside of school. I did become president of Best Buddies because I love seeing everybody have a friend at school. I joined, I joined Best Buddies for my, uh, my friends. I joined uh, 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 Best Buddies, I was a freshman. I was a senior right now um, and I help my other friends um, to uh, uh, the Best, uh, uh, best Buddies. And, um, there will be people is here in Kaya. I always love seeing what other students are up to. Up next, let's take a look at one of the fundraisers you can participate in this holiday season. I'm Melissa McClellan. I'm a senior and I'm part of the Interact Club and we're hosting uh, the Holiday Food Drive through November 30th through December 17th and we are looking for non-perishable items such as rice, pasta, canned goods, oatmeal, veggies, and fruits. Bring your donation to C313 and help us fight against hunger. That is such a good cause. I will definitely be donating. And a reminder to all club officers, if your club has any announcements you'd like to be featured on LCTV, like Interact Club with their food drive, you can email our editor-in-chief, Damien Arambula, at darambula at lcstudents.com or our advisor, Ms. Collard, at kcollard at lcsemail.com. You can contact us anything throughout the school year. Up next, let's see what's new in athletics with Sports Update. Hey LC, and welcome back to this week's Sports Update. I'm Kelsey Moore. And I'm Katie Odrobinak. Let's get into it. Hey Katie, how's our girls basketball doing? They're off to a hot start, winning their first six of seven games and outscoring their opponents 369 to 132. They also have a home game against Maribel this Friday at 7 p.m. Make sure you come out and support the girls. Now, Kelsey, what about our boys' basketball team? Well, the boys' basketball unfortunately started off their season with a world loss to South Bend, Washington, but look to bounce back with a home game against the Drain next week. Our very own wrestlers competed in the Calumet Super Duel Finals and finished with a perfect record of 5-0. They also opened for the DAC matches this week when Michigan City comes to town. Both the girls' and boys' swim teams competed in their meet at Portage this past weekend. Both teams won their respective matches and compete in the Munster Relays this weekend. Good luck, guys. Now let's take a look at a freshman on the Varsity Girls basketball team. I'm a freshman here at LC and I'm on the Girls Varsity basketball team. I started playing basketball in second grade around eight or nine years old. My brother, I'd always see him playing in the driveway with um, his, his friends and it really showed me that I had a love for the game and I just came drawn to it, I guess. What got me into varsity as a freshman, I mean, there's so many talented people here. I'm just grateful to be one of them on the varsity basketball team, but like I said, there's a lot of skillful people here, so I just a blessing, really. What am I good at in basketball? I mean. I'm good down low in the post, but I can handle myself on the perimeter, I can shoot the ball well, and I can handle it when I need to. What position am I? I'm a forward on the court. What do I love about the team? I love the girls. The girls are amazing. They are very welcoming when I came, but um, we're one big family, so we're all like sisters, but they're pretty cool. How do I manage my school and basketball schedule? I try and stay off my phone, because it can be a distraction, but I try and get my, all my school work done when I have the time and work on my skills when, when I need to. What's the most exciting thing about being on a basketball team? Probably just all the like, all the connections and all the new, new friends you meet while playing the sport. You, you bring a lot of friendships, I guess, to the team.
TLC. I'm Katie O'Drovenak. And I'm Kelsey Moore. We'll, we'll see you next time. It looks like the winter sports have some exciting things ahead. Let's take a look at a student's TikTok that recently rose to fame through fashion. Hi, I'm Ingrid Ozarczak, and I'm here to talk about my TikTok, Oh Sister, Oh Sister. So on our TikTok, we run a fashion account. I run it with my sister, Marlo, and we usually do videos that are called style challenges, where my sister, my mom, and I will each take one piece of clothing and style it our own way. Style challenge, today's item is this. It's like a poppy orange, has some chiffon on the outside top, maybe a little cardigan, and we are styling it three ways. As a teenager, 20 something, and as a 50 something. Hi. Vote for your favorite in the comments, and let's go. What inspired me to start our TikTok was in about January 2021, we were in quarantine, and my sister and I wanted something that would keep us together, that we could do over a long period of time. So we started our TikTok because we like fashion, and we just kept going with it. One of our most popular TikToks has been our Halloween series TikTok where we each styled a witch hat and we made our own witch look for Halloween. It has 2.7 million views at the moment, 610,000 hearts, and 5,000 comments about. So that was really exciting because we got a lot of positive feedback from different people. My favorite TikTok I've probably done, my brother participated and we took a pair of overalls and we each styled it our own way and it was really fun. I got to wrap a ribbon around my waist, so I just really liked how the style turned out at the end. Hi, I'm Ingrid, I'm the teenager. This is how I styled these overalls. I have these tan shoes, this belt going around my waist, and this gray shirt. Hi, I'm Marla, I'm the 20-something, and I'm styling the overalls with this crochet bikini top and some ankle lug boots. polo hat, safety sunglasses, and Nike Dunks. I'm the mom and I'm 50 something. I took a pair of overalls and turned them into a pair of paper bag waist pants, paired it with a matching shirt, and my favorite Prada pumps to kind of dress it up a little bit. I really enjoyed watching how they put together their outfits. Me too. Drawing isn't my thing, but let's see how other students did with the drawing competition. I think I'm going to win because I have no competition and my painting is the best. Time limit. I'm gotta go. Gotta go. In 30 seconds. Uh, oh my god! I don't know what else to draw. In 30 seconds. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. I'm making it good. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Yay! Uh, I think I'm gonna lose because I can't really draw and I didn't know what to draw because I lost my train of thought. Clearly, as you guys can see right here, I'm the winner. It's not even gonna be a competition. None of these fools can draw. It's very obvious. And I'm like Pablo Picasso. Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh, and they have five minutes starting now. Carly, how are you feeling right now? Very stressed. 
Like she's gonna lose. Two minutes, oh my God. W. Right, I'll just do some throwing, job. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands up. Time is up. I'm the next Van Gogh, obviously. Like, you can't tell the difference. Stephanie's gonna lose. Okay. So the winner was you. Hey, come on. Hey, look at this. This is Pablo Picasso. Who, who painted this, this picture? Vincent Van Gogh. Oh, uh, hey, hey. What, come on. Can't even tell the difference. Like, it looks the exact same. Just, his is a little worse, if you know what I mean. Come on. Carly never stood a chance. For our final segment, we will see if students can tell foods based solely on taste. Hey y'all CTV, I'm Bella Bourne. And I'm Amaya Hall. And today we picked some students to do a blind taste test. So first, we have to go meet them. My name's Alex Corras. Um, my name is Nathan Shrewsley. My name is Ian Now that we have met our contestants, it is time to taste some food. No, 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 why did I do this, bro? Oh, no, 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 no. Is it bad? <laughs> Nathan, did you do it? No, I didn't do it. Open! Oh, no, no, it's not. Oh my god. <laughs> going? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. That's pickle juice. Yeah. 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 Nah, I don't like pickles like that. No, dude, it better not be like no mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is not bad. No, I hate mayonnaise, bro. Nah, why did I do this? Why did I even volunteer to do this? I thought they were gonna give us like some garlic. Nah. Yeah. Dude, I smell like pickle juice now. That's so nasty. See? I'm on my shirt too. Oh, my mask smells like pickle juice now. That's so nasty. Bella, you coming? Yeah, we're oh, my God. That's almost bad. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my I'm gonna What is that, bro? Dude, no, I can't, I can't do that stuff. Oh my god, that's so disgusting. Yeah. I wasn't bad at first, but it was just like, that's funny. When I did, that's when I was. I didn't even bite. I, I just sucked on it for a second. Are we gonna have any liquids? Oh, yeah. What is this? Ready? One, two, three, go. Where's the plate at? Awesome. I can't hear it. I can't hear it. Anybody need a plate? Anybody need a plate? No, 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 no. That's an onion. Yeah, that, uh, that is an onion. Mmm. How are you still eating it? I swallowed it. That's nasty. Where's the plate? Anybody need a plate? I, I, I'm not even chewing on it. I'm just sucking on it. I need some water, dude. There's like a spoon. Hey, open it up. Ew, it smells like onions in here. Mm. Really? Yeah. Okay. Where's the plate at? Just no, there's no plate. You're gonna like like it. <laughs> That's good. Oh yeah. Oh. Is it my turn? I know what it is. I think I know what it is. That's good jello too. I'm so glad I was the one actually giving the food and not eating it because I don't know about you and Maya, but I definitely would have not made it through. To close out our episode, we want to highlight new content we're producing. We're happy to announce the start of a brand new show separate from our main show. Here's a sneak peek of the first episode of Think Fast, created by LCTV staffers Olivia Klein and Reagan Sedaris. Think Fast. We decided to ask our fellow students which celebrity they prefer. Think Fast, Tom Holland or Zendaya? Uh, Tom Holland for sure. Think Fast, Harry Styles or Timothy Chalamet? I don't even know who that is. Disappointed. Think Fast, which celebrity do you prefer? Dwayne The Rock Johnson or Kevin Hart? The Rock, of course. Good answer. Think Fast, Timothy Chalamet or Harry Styles? Harry. Harry Styles. Harry Styles. <laughs> Thank you very much. Olivia Rodrigo or Taylor Swift? Taylor Thank you. Excuse me, excuse me. Think fast. Taylor Swift or Olivia Rodrigo? Taylor Swift. Thank you. Think fast.
Yes, who do you prefer, Robert Downey Jr. or Chris Evans? Chris Evans. Thank you. Think fast, who you guys prefer, Jonas Brothers or One Direction? Um, One Direction. One Direction. Yeah. Ike, I can't name any of their songs, so that's a no-go for both. <laughs> All right, thanks. To see the full episode, please visit our YouTube channel and keep tuning in for more announcements of new shows. Well, that's it for today, Elsie. I'm Olivia Fig. And I'm Claire Bender. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube at Lake Central Television, which where you can find the links to our website, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. You can also find them in the description below. Thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in next time. Bye! Bye.